Good morning, friends. Well, it looks to me like I am just about done with my tilling. At least up here on the top part of the garden. And I have turned all the chickens in here that's not laying. I told them if you're not laying, you're not staying. And they're not liking it too much. They've been up here. You can see all the little chicken feed everywhere. But uh, they don't really like it over here too much because there's nowhere to hide. And they are, um, soon as they, actually, as soon as they got out, the chicken hawks came. And we all shooed them away. And I guess they're, they got on guard because they can't get out. I haven't, I've locked all the, all the gates so they can't get out here. And they can't get out there. So they are really not knowing what to do. This is the time of the year whenever I, I have to put them in certain places to get them to do certain things because I'm getting ready to, to plant my garden before too awfully long. Probably not today or probably not this week because it's going to be raining really hard today, this afternoon. So I was hoping to get some of this tilling done before that happened and uh, let, it, let it soak in and see what's going to come up and uh, rake all this stuff off and see what I can till it again whenever it dries out again and then I'll I'll do it after that. I'll let them back in here. I'll let them out and then I'm going to move my fences over. Um, what I have decided is this right here is a natural break. So this is going to be good for, um, there's a little hole right there they could get out if they wanted to, if they thought about it hard enough. But this is a natural break right here. So I'm going to just kind of leave that like it is and uh, take this fence that goes right here and put it on put it on that side and then down here and then over to there and then that they'll have all of that but they won't have any of the garden area and all my garden area will be mine it's pretty easy to trade fences out like that when i do it that way so that's what i'm going to end up doing i've got a few in there that's uh that's laying but otherwise everybody's out here except for my new girl and uh the uh baby chicks so yeah, they're doing doing really well. I'm so I'm so happy. They're just they're just doing so good. All of them are. And some of them are wanting to go back in really bad. The ones that, that just hang out inside, they're wanting to go in really bad. And this girl hadn't found her tail yet. I keep saying, "Where is your tail? What did you do with your tail? Where's your tail, baby girl? Huh? She's a buff coaching." And I think she's the, no, that's not her. Looking for, she, oh, here she is. She's a black coaching. This one right here. All the feathers on the feet and all that. I think that's coaching. And hopefully while I'm in here, I can get rid of a few roosters. Not really get rid of them, but catch them, put them up. That'd be pretty cool. Get because they are they're really I think that's the reason now that the, the hens they've had several reasons throughout the winter now the reason is they have too many too many roosters they're just driving them crazy so I'll have to see if I can catch them off guard I may catch Scout because he's doing it and Kazoo is doing it and Renfro is doing it and so those three at least are on my list if I can catch one of those three I hate to I hate to, to send Renfro away because he's so beautiful, but if he's gonna hurt my babies, I can't tell I can't take it. <laughs> this is what I got done today. Would you look, would you look? We got a whole bunch of the um the dead grass clumps up and threw them across the the fence and then as I showed you I had closed that gate and looky here what I got done today I know it looks like a mess but I actually got my fence changed out and look how much space I've got oh it's gonna be wonderful I've got all this as a garden now and I don't have to worry about if chickens are gonna get in and out or not Right now, I, do, I don't have them. I don't have them locked out totally. 
but I went ahead and, and put that fence up there and I moved my um, buckets over here and put my fence down here where it didn't used to be put it right here and then I put it in front of this this wooden um, pallet here and this is going to be my do new door into the garden so they'll be able to get out pretty easy whenever I am um, whenever I push them out of here and then I'll let them come in and out a little bit but not like they were I'll let them in and probably throw some scratch out for them and uh, I took their their little um, safe haven down there off of the uh, fence and I put it up here so they'll have they'll have this space right in here and I'll get out here and show you so they'll have this space right here where they already had and this is the door that goes into the to the garden and then they'll have this up here and this will this is where I put their their little hideys so that if they decide to come up here it's okay because they can hide in between those two until I until I use it for something else that's what usually what I use for my tomatoes might go get some more I don't know how kind of expensive but I might just do that I'm not really sure and then they'll have this this is their this is where they really like to hide because it's going to have like you can tell this is starting to turn green and this whatever this vine is in places it's starting to turn green I don't know if it's even alive we had some really really cold weather and it might have just killed all of this but it's I I didn't kill it and I really wish that it would stay here so that they would and and have some green on it so that they can uh, have a place to to get out from and under all of this and I took some video while I was changing the fence around and I put it right I put the, the cell phone right there and I put it on record while I was working and uh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna <laughs> hurry it up and 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 put it in fast bit fast motion I might put it in slow motion but I think I'll put it in fast motion it's kind of more fun and I took videos of them while they were out there doing their thing right there so some of them came right up here to the pretty close to the camera and was scratching around right in here where my feet are but uh, I sure do enjoy these kids. I call them kids. They're just like little kids. You have to get mad at them. You have to, you have to scold them, and then you can, you can love on some of them. Some of them you can't, and you know it's just, it's just so much fun having my animals, all of my animals. So there's that. Well, I beat the rain. It, got here and I have all my stuff put away and I had uh, planted these flowers a couple of days ago oh thunder I love thunder as long as it's out there it's not down here look at this this is beautiful Nice little Oklahoma rain. Got the animals all put up. Got my garden all tilled as much as I wanted to. Got my fence moved. It's been a wonderful day. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit sore, a little bit achy. But it's a good tired sore and achy. They bought me some, some pretty little flowers. Been putting here and there. hung nose and I didn't quite get them that straight. My straight is off. It's always been off. It's okay though. It's okay. Yep. Got it all done. Looks really good from here. This is from my back porch.